Recent claims have been made that the COVID-19 vaccine may cause infertility, but how reliable is this information? I'm here to answer that question for you today. I am Lindsay Topier, a pharmacy student working with Dr. C. Michael White, a pharmacist and distinguished professor at the University of Connecticut School of Pharmacy. This is part of a series on the Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines, and we hope you find it informative. We are providing this general information based on our assessment of the COVID-19 vaccine literature, and it was current at the time of recording. This is not a substitute for medical advice provided by your healthcare provider. If you have a medical emergency, please call 911. We have received no funding from Pfizer, Moderna, or any other group. We just want to help you make an informed decision. The people claiming that the Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines can induce infertility say that the mRNA code for the spike protein is similar to the protein syncytin-1, an important protein in the development of the placenta. The unreliable source claims that the process of your body forming antibodies against the SARS-CoV-2 virus will also form antibodies against syncytin-1. This is very unlikely to be true. The mRNA coding sequence in the vaccine has been assessed versus the coding sequence needed to generate syncytin-1, and experts say it is not similar. Let's look at it another way. Since the mRNA code for the spike protein in the vaccine is the same as the spike protein seen on the virus, then we should be seeing problems with women sustaining pregnancy after recovering from COVID-19. In a study done by Public Health England examining the incidence of stillbirths from April 2020 to June 2020, the risk of having a stillbirth has not changed. Still not convinced? There's no evidence of infertility as an adverse effect of the COVID-19 vaccine from the FDA reviews of the vaccine. Every female participant of childbearing potential was screened for pregnancy before each vaccination, and a woman would be discontinued from the study with a positive pregnancy test. Throughout the study beginning in April and ending on November 14, 2020, there were a total of 23 pregnancies in the study groups from the phase three clinical trials. 12 of these pregnancies were from the vaccine cohort. Of all these pregnancies that occurred after vaccination, the only adverse effects were reported in the placebo group. By looking at it three different ways, we believe that the risk of infertility from the vaccine should not be deterrent, especially when COVID-19 is hospitalizing and killing thousands of Americans in the United States every single day. Thank you for watching.